gatekeepers. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? This is because our words affect others. IKEA itself treated it two years ago in the United Arab Emirates with Bulia plant. The live experiment where two identical plants were set up in a school and the students were invited to complement one while bowling the other. Of course, both plants have been treated the same for what concerns sunlight, water, or fertilizer. Still, after a month, the complemented one thrived, while the bullet one was evidently struggling. Although it may not be the most scientific experiment of all, it clearly gives the idea that criticisms often have a way more significant impact than praise. And obviously, this does not only regard plants. Indeed, this human tendency to dwell on the negative more than the positive is called negative or negativity bias, and is believed to be a result of evolution, a way our brain used to keep us safe. The negative bias still exists. It's the reason why we tend to expect the worst in others, the reason why cons often overcome pros, and the reason why receiving a single rude comment in the morning will ruin your whole day. In souls, however, involve two parts. Someone gets insulted and someone insults. And even though it's not the nice experience for the victim, it is also not so good for whoever insults. You know, like some mirror. If you smile at her, she will smile back. And that's pretty much how our brain operates too. It is called illusory truth effect and is the phenomenon of believing an information read, seen, or heard regularly through, whether it is or not. So as we use negative words over and over again, the more power they gain over us. And you will never throw a boomerang knowing that coming back it will hit your face. You know, you seem to be all such lovely people, and I like to assume that you don't go around insulting others. Though I know that you do it to yourself. Negative self-talk is a plug we all are or used to be affected with. It happened to me even writing this bit. I was like, you know what, I'm quitting, I just can't, I'm down. But why, why would you tell yourself something that rude that you wouldn't normally tell anybody? The problem doesn't lie in the self-criticism, we need that in life. The fact is that talking to yourself in specific ways leads to see yourself in those ways. It leads to toxic perfectionism, poisonous stress. It turns easy into needlessly difficult. And if you believe that you can't, well, you won't. The moment I stopped complaining, my friends can confirm, I started writing something I liked, cared about and believed him. And here I am. So, to sum up what I've been trying to tell you, if it's not nice, then you probably shouldn't say it. Thank you. Thank you, Matilde, your, your positive energy.